everyone today I'm going to a quick tutorial on uh, connecting your app on Heroku to a custom domain name uh, let's say you have uploaded an app to Heroku and um, then this is the name of the app and um, you want to connect this app to a custom domain name what it means is if you just go to the browser and type powerplantmap.us then you should be able to see your app on Heroku. Uh, this should be a pretty straightforward process. The first step in this is buying the custom domain name. Um, depending on what uh, custom domain name or what, what the name is, uh, the price for buying the custom domain name varies. So first you would go to a, a, a website which will let you buy domain names uh, for example godaddy.com uh, at this point uh, let's say I want to buy mm, an apple.org uh, let's see if uh, this uh, website is available um, and it's not available but an Apple Club is available. Let's say we just want to buy the we go to an Apple or Club and I'll just continue. Then I'll have to go ahead with the default settings. All right. Um, it's uh, an apple dog club uh, it, it says for about uh, for a buy for a year it's about ten dollars well, uh, actually uh, I, I can probably try to reduce the cost on this domain since I already have uh, uh, add-on on my chrome uh, th this is called the uh, chrome extension honey and then uh, if I just uh, 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 it just pops up and then uh, y you could uh, try uh, the, the, the extension tries out all the codes and tries to optimize for the best coupon and uh, applies all the coupons and gives you the lowest price uh, in order to uh, install the extension let's go to joinhoney.com and then you just hit get honey and you could add and then it, it takes care of the installation and stuff like that it's, it's pretty straightforward uh, anyways now uh, it's time to optimize for the best price so well it was about a ten dollar seventeen cents let's see if uh, by take make use of a coupon it would uh, reduce the price All right, uh, it, it has come down a little bit, uh, maybe like 15 cents, something like that. So you could go ahead, uh, p proceed and uh, check out. Uh, once you check out, uh, it will probably take an hour for your domain name to get approved. So once it's done, uh, you, uh, you, you could have to go to uh, my account. Uh, this is the GoDaddy homepage. Then just go to my account, uh, manage my domains, and it tells you what all domains you have. Uh, I have two domains. So, mm, so earlier when I showed you, uh, I, I I wanted to connect my custom domain, uh, the uh, powerplantmap.us, to uh, this which is on my Heroku. So uh, th this is on my Heroku. Okay. Now uh, in my domain, uh, you just go to manage my TNS for that app. And here uh, in your C name, uh, you would see www and here you would just see an at the rate sign so you just click on edit and paste uh, co copy this from your Heroku custom domain this is your Heroku uh, domain 
so you take it from Puroku and just paste it here and then you say finish okay and th th this is going to pop up uh, so th this record is going to be uh, 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 populated th th then you, you would have to just click save and uh, you will be done on the GoDaddy side next you need to go to Heroku and then uh, you need to go to the app uh, for the custom domain so this was the app for the custom domain so you click on that uh, and then you go to the settings in the settings um, there's an option called add custom domain once you click on that uh, uh, you just uh, type in your name of the custom domain I've already done this for my app so this is what I've entered and uh, uh, you're almost done next uh, you could you could wait for like a minute or so and then go to powerplantmap.us and you would see this so th this is pretty much a real straightforward process uh, let, let me know if uh, there are any issues or any problems regarding this thank you